How would you fill in the blank? This is a very serious issue. I agree, it needs to be resolved quickly. Did you say, what do you think? What do you think is a question you can ask when you want to hear someone's opinion about something. However, many people overuse it. There are many other questions you can ask when you want to hear what someone thinks about something in casual or serious situations. Today, you'll learn six other ways you can say, what do you think? I'll introduce them in order from basic to more advanced. Do you agree or do you disagree? Don't you agree? Or don't you disagree? This is a simple question you can ask after you talk about an opinion or idea. It's a way to check if the other person thinks the same way or not. If you change do to don't and ask, don't you agree? Don't you disagree? This makes it a negative question. It might seem confusing, but all it means is that you are guessing what their answer is as you ask the question. For instance, if you say, chocolate ice cream is the best, don't you agree? It means, I guess you also think chocolate ice cream is the best. Am I right? I think we should clean up the house. Do you agree? Yeah, we should clean a little. How do you feel about this? Although this question is asking about someone's feelings, it means thoughts. It's a very common and natural way to ask someone what they think. You can also end the question with any noun or ing verb. For instance, how do you feel about pets? Or how do you feel about owning a pet? How do you feel about backpacking around the world? I think it sounds like a great adventure. I'd love to hear what you think. Use this expression when you want to encourage someone to share their opinion. If someone is a little shy or seems uncomfortable sharing their thoughts, using this expression can help them open up and share. I'm thinking of painting my room blue. I'd love to hear what you think. Blue? Well, I think sky blue would look nice. Could you share your thoughts on this? This is a polite question that will also help to encourage someone to share what they think. To make it more polite, you can add please at the end or after could you. Could you share your thoughts on this please? Could you please share your thoughts on this? Of course, you can also replace this with a noun or ing verb. Could you share your thoughts on the plan for next month? Sure, I actually have a few suggestions to change the plan. What's your opinion on this? This is a good question when the topic is more serious because of the word opinion. You can also make the question more specific and clearer by ending it with a noun or ing verb instead of this. What's your opinion on eating meat? I'm a vegetarian, so I'm against eating meat. What's your take? Ask this question when you want to know someone's opinion on a situation. You're interested in hearing their perspective, since it could be different from yours. They want to pass a law to protect the environment. What's your take? I think the law should be passed. We must protect the environment. Now that you know other ways you can say, what do you think? What would you put in this blank? This is a very serious issue. I agree, it needs to be resolved quickly. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you enjoy today's lecture? Wait, don't just leave yet. If you go to the cake app below the video, you'll see our A-level speaking challenge feature. It'll help you practice speaking key sentences from the lecture, and you can also get your pronunciation checked. So check it out and try until you get an A to improve your speaking skills. So download cake today, and I'll see you in the next class. Bye.